Hi guys, how are you going? It's a Sunday afternoon in Melbourne, Australia. I thought I'd spend some time doing some uh, reviews this afternoon. I've been spending the morning uh, cleaning up the workshop and trying to get it organised. And you know, I've got quite a, a compact workshop. If you've been to the channel before, if you're new, you'll see a lot of stuff in here in relation to uh, compactness and getting the, the most out of quite a small space. So the, the workshop is constantly evolving, so every time you see a video, you'll probably see different bits and pieces. But anyway, what we're here for today, um, my old sander, my old Azito, which um, I'll fish out of the bin, <laughs> died on me. As I normally do, I try and recycle everything, so I pulled it apart, um, took a few bits and pieces out, took the cable, switching, screws, thought I might make that into a bit of a project, I'll use the base, use the clip system, just to make a little um, hand sander. So yeah, so you'll see that in future videos. Um, if I have never really made one, you'll see a click in the link. But um, yeah, so with this one, um, what the Ryobi third sheet sander. Now the reason I picked this one in particular was I was after um, a sander that I can use sanding sheets um, for, okay? I wasn't a big fan of the Velcro stuff because the Velcro tends to go shitty um, and ends up being problematic. So I was after something which basically could take these sheets, cut them down to whatever size. Uh, these tend to be a bit cheaper as well. Um, so that was the main reason I was looking for a third sheet sander. But uh, this one actually ticks both boxes. So it actually takes the third sheets and it has the clips for it, uh, like my old one, but it also has the Velcro as well. So um, then the next big question for me was, do I get cordless or do I get corded? So a lot of my new tools that I've been buying, I've been opting for cordless. Actually, I just got a couple of new ones, the rebate planer and the belt sander. Uh, you'll see them in future videos, but I ended up going cordless for those. This one I was sort of, should I, shouldn't I? But so I ended up getting the corded one. So um, I'll probably end up regretting it, but we'll, we'll see how we go. All right, so with this one here, I suppose some of the basics, I suppose let's just, um, again, it's got this cyclonic action dust box, which I'm intrigued to see how that works. Again, you know sanders to make a lot of dust, but I'm intrigued to see what this micro filtration system does. Um, again, what's it say? Quick fix hookup and loose base. So I assume that's in relation to either the Velcro or the hookup system that are on, on normal arm um, sanders and then variable speed for added control. So cool. All right. Four year replacement warranty. And again, this is here in Australia. I'm not sure the warranties are in America. But four years replacement, that's massive. Um, other things too. Model number, it's the RSS 280TS. Um, actually comes with six sanding sheets, a bag, and is 280 watts. That's all the specs. Alright, so it comes with this little bag. Now with the bags, I've got lots of bags floating around now. Um, I don't know if they're good or bad. Um, I think I'll probably end up using them for something, but I probably won't be storing the tools in them. So, for that reason. Probably worthless. Okay, it's a sander. Six sanding sheets, and these are the Velcro ones. Uh, manuals. Uh, Alright, sander. Alright, so let's have a look. Okay, Velcro base. Okay, you got the clips on the side. That's good, so that was one of the main reasons I was looking for it. One thing I noticed is every sander I've always owned, you've had to push down, lock it in, then take your finger off and then it stays on. This is simply just got an on and off switch, which I think is brilliant. 
I know why they didn't do it years ago. Um, you've got your adjustable speed control at the front. So it looks like it's in a good position where you're not gonna knock it, which is good, but easy, easy access. Okay, so this is the, the cyclone filtration system. So, okay, so it just slides straight off. There's your dust port. Let's see how this comes apart. Okay, there's a little lip on the back. Take that off. Okay, so it's got a little filter. Okay, so that's interesting. I wonder um, how much dust, again, I'm just used to having dust everywhere, so <laughs> having some sort of filtration system would be fantastic. Um, and you know, again, hooking it up to a hose and that's all a little bit quite cumbersome. All right, that could pump, could pump quite nicely. Right, locks in pretty easily. So what have we got? We've got 150, two 150s, two 100s, and two 60s. All right. Line everything up. There you go. That's pretty easy. Actually, all right, let's get some timber. All right, so I got some merbu, which will uh, uh, give us some nice red dust. We'll see how much mess she makes. Pop that away. Different speeds one, two, three. quite impressed how much um there's bugger all dust here just a little few little bits and pieces um if you can see here it's all red inside so if we take this off i actually didn't expect this to work uh, from the back okay so there you go absolutely shocked so that was next to nothing and again I suppose the beauty of having these velcro pads with the holes in it um, but that's quite amazing and again you can blow these out the filter looks quite sturdy we'll blow that out with the blower up quite nicely. I'm quite amazed, that's fantastic. Let's see if it comes together. It just clicks on. Clicks on. Nice and easy. Back in place. There you go. I'm impressed so far. Alright, let's take this off now. Let's try and pop a sheet on, clean up this mess. <laughs> Love me cordless dice and inherited that from the kitchen. All right, uh, let's get some sheets. Yeah. 
So I'll probably have to just prep a few of these now. Third sheet sander, perfect. All right. Again, because it was quite finer, we got a bit more dust here outside. So let's check inside. Getting that held up fine. So not much dust in, because again, we're talking about a finer grade of paper but um, there's probably more in than there is out. So, much of a much of, and the other one there was obviously quite a big difference because it was quite a coarse grade of paper. All right. All right, so based on that, that's fantastic. So, um, yeah, I really like it. It's pretty easy, simple. I love the fact that I can use the third sheet versus this stuff. Again, this stuff can be expensive, but again, it gets the job done. Um, and obviously this probably sucked up a little bit more because of the holes, but yeah, no, it works fine. All right, so um, would I have gone for the cordless one? I probably should have went for the cordless one. So, but um, I'm, sure, I'm sure I'll get plenty of years of good use out of it. Um, especially the fact that it's got a four year replacement warranty. Alright guys, well that's it. So that's the Ryobi sander. Again, I'm pretty happy with it. Like I said, although I've got, probably got the cordless one, I probably should have got the cordless one. Seeing as I'm moving everything across the cordless. But yeah, happy with it. I'd recommend it. Let's see how long she lasts. But again, with a four year replacement warranty, I don't think you can go wrong, to be truthful. Just again, obviously keep your receipts. Um, I'm trying to get into the habit now. Anytime I buy any power tools, all my receipts go into one place, just so I don't lose them. All right, hope you like the content. Um, any comments or feedback, pop them in the comments below. If you're enjoying the channel, please subscribe and please share, uh, especially with all the power tool reviews. If you know anyone that's looking to buy one or if you, you see any um, posts on the internet for people who prefer to buy some, please share if you would. Uh, again, if you want me to do any particular videos, let me know. Again, my channel will be a, a mixture of all sorts of things um, with all the free time I've got on the weekends now because we can't go out. Uh, I'm spending a lot of time at the workshop so and doing stuff around the house, which is great. All right, I'll see you in the next video. See you guys. Bye.